We have some major stories breaking in the crypto market today. So it's happening today. I'll be telling you guys exactly what that is. We'll be talking about FTX. We're gonna be talking about some Binance alerts. We have an exciting new crypto project to talk about. We've also had a massive update in the Ben Armstrong Big Boy saga. I'll be unveiling exactly what's happened there, plus the crypto prices as well. So if you guys enjoy these important updates, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. So the most critical thing to know today in the market is uh, it could potentially happen. So what is that? FTX holds around 560 million in Bitcoin and 1.1 billion in Solana. And today is September 13th, which means potentially, according to some of the bankruptcy filings out there, FTX may potentially be able to sell some of this crypto on the market. So it is a bankrupt crypto exchange. It needs to go through the bankruptcy process right now. And the worrying thing that crypto holders know is uh, if FTX does decide to dump crypto on the market, it could potentially push the crypto prices to the south side. But again, this could be a nice opportunity to pick up some crypto cheap. But cryptos to watch out for that could be massively impacted right here. Solana. So they got like $1.1 billion to Solana. Bitcoin around 560 million Bitcoin, 192 million worth of Ethereum. And then they've got millions and millions of other types of cryptocurrencies as well. So I think Solana, just watch out for some potential volatility right there. Also Bitcoin as well. So Bitcoin, if the Bitcoin price does get impacted by this, this could have a cascade effect on the other altcoins in the market. So today is the day potentially FTX could sell some of its crypto, not all of it, but just watch out for this if there is some volatility to the south side today. And one of the best things you can do in the crypto market right now is keep your eyes peeled for new and exciting innovative crypto projects. So I want to shout out today's sponsor, which is AI Tech. AI Tech is a highly innovative deflationary artificial intelligence utility token. It has been created by Solidus, which has successfully constructed a state of the art high performance computing data center spanning over 8,000 square feet and it's strategically situated in a highly secure European location. The AI tech token will serve as a payment gateway for licensing artificial intelligence as a service, blockchain as a service, and accessing HPC resources via their infrastructure as a service platform. Furthermore, Solidus intends to establish an exclusive marketplace catering to software developers, enabling them to launch artificial intelligence software applications for end users to license. Through this innovative initiative, developers will partake in a profit sharing model, thereby gaining substantial benefits. AI Tech has a fully identifiable and professional team with LinkedIn profiles. They are doing open AMAs with multiple communities. They also have a huge roadmap ahead, which includes some very big events coming up soon. The token is currently trading on major crypto exchanges, including PancakeSwap, Mexi, Gate.io, Bitmart, and more. And to learn more about this crypto project, make sure to check out their Twitter, their Telegram, and their website. Links in the description below. Into some big Binance news as well. So we have actually seen the US CEO. He has left the crypto exchange in the US and it actually has cut one third of its workforce. So the news is broken right there. Binance US CEO resigns and uh, what is happening with the Binance crypto exchange in the US and uh, I think personally and again everyone is free to believe whatever they want but there is a lot of targeting of the Binance crypto exchange in the USA you know it's in lawsuits you know under scrutiny from regulators and uh, you know, the big question is why I think it could be a bit of a prelude before you know big Wall Street exchanges come in you know maybe they want to clear out the market before that happens but we have seen the departure of CEO Brian Schroeder from the firm and a Binance US spokesperson has said right here, the SEC's aggressive attempts to cripple our industry and the resulting impacts in our business have real world consequences for American jobs and innovation. And this is an unfortunate example of that. So guys, yes, the SEC does impact the crypto market. It puts up very bad rules and uh, it can impact jobs in the USA. So I don't know why the US government is so persistent in trying to stifle crypto 
innovation in the USA. But I am hopeful in the future. So you guys know, 2024, I tell you guys about it. If you're having political problems, there is going to be political solutions as well. So 2024, presidential election, 2024, can we get a change in the guard of the SEC? And can these storm clouds turn into a bit of a rainbow? That is a long-term signal to watch out for in the crypto market. But at the same time, CZ is still getting to work. And this time, he's actually donating money to Libya. So there is big floods in Libya right now. And Binance is airdropping up to $500,000 in BNB to users in Libya to support flood recovery. So again, crypto doing the right thing right here, supporting some good causes. And those people in Libya who can do the proof of the dress with the Binance Crypto Exchange, they're going to get airdropped, you know, $100 worth of BNB. So CZ are doing some great things despite what is happening in the cryptocurrency market right now. Michael Saylor says, wake up and Bitcoins. So shout out to all you guys tuning in this morning, if it is morning time, your local area. And we also have a massive update for BitBoy Crypto. So guys, have a look at this. The Twitter account of BitBoy Crypto has actually went dark for a while. No real recent tweets happening. So the last one was like, like September the 1st, which is ages ago. That's like 10 years in Twitter time <laughs> if you've watched uh, Interstellar. But crypto moves very, very fast. But they haven't tweeted for quite a while right here on the main Twitter account. And uh, we have some breaking updates. So apparently what's happened right here is BitBoy Crypto, the company is now suing Ben Armstrong. The Uno reverse card is being played right here. And it says here, one of the allegations in BitBoy LLC lawsuit read by Crypto Man ran unlawfully diverting sums as large as $50,000 per month from the company's sponsorship revenue to an independent contractor who Armstrong was having an inappropriate relationship with. So things are getting nastier and nastier and dirtier and dirtier. And uh, looks like there is a counter lawsuit right here. Ben Armstrong is unleashing over on Twitter as well. So there's a lot of, uh, what's the word, mud getting thrown at each other in this type of situation right here. And uh, you guys know the sponsorship for Stake potentially has went away for the BitBoy Crypto channel. And things are actually taking a turn for the worse, unfortunately, right here. But it's all public over on Twitter. If you guys are interested in learning more, check out Ben Armstrong's uh, Twitter account. I'm not gonna, I am not going don't want to spend too much time looking at this drama, but that is what's happened in the crypto market. One of the biggest names in crypto getting sued by his former company right there with some big allegations right there. And guys, with that, let's check out the crypto prices today. So what is happening? in the crypto market right now. Things are actually looking green. So things are up green. RLB up 17.7%. VeChain up 9.9%. Casper up 6.4%. And the crypto market is actually pumping to some degree. So up 3.2% in the last 24 hours for Bitcoin. And the rest of the cryptos are actually increasing right now. But are we out of the woods yet? I don't think we are. So let's see what happens today with FTX. Are they going to sell today? Pay attention to that. But the rest of the crypto market is starting to push up, which is nice. So over the long term, what do we want to see? We want to see long-term bullish price action. You can see SHIB up 1.7%, Casper up 6.3%. So can Casper get into the top 40, guys? Watch out for that crypto. And uh, Terra Classic up 1.3% right there. But guys, that is a massive crypto update. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Go have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Crypto Zeus signing out.